Meet Jenna. Jenna is a typical fiscal user working in her department's accounting unit. She creates transactions in fiscal on a daily basis, which might be in the accounts payable, accounts receivable, cash management, and or the general ledger modules. Depending on the day, Jenna may create vouchers, deposits, or journal entries. To ensure a transaction is successfully completed, including posting and interfacing with the SEO legacy system, Jenna must make sure she performs all steps of her transactions without error. These steps include 1. Entering all necessary transaction information. 2. Editing chart field values. 3. Passing a budget check and collecting the necessary approvals. And 4. Reviewing journal generated items for errors. Only then will her transaction post to the general ledger and interface with the SEO Legacy System, the official book of record for the state of California. Let's take a closer look at what happens during each of these steps. Step 1. Entering Transaction Information When creating a new transaction, Jenna carefully enters all information, paying close attention to dates, amounts, and chart field values. She has key job aids printed and available at her desk to help her with the transactions she most commonly performs. Step 2. Editing Chart Field Values When entering chart field values, Jenna enters values that apply to her department and follows the combo edit rules. For example, Jenna knows that an enactment year is required for any entries involving revenue or operating expense. She also knows that all entries involving operating expense or a reimbursement account require a program and reference. If any of Jenna's chart field values are invalid, the system will display an error message and prevent her from moving to the next step. Step 3. Passing a budget check and obtaining approvals. Once Jenna has correctly entered all transaction information and chart field values, her transaction must be routed for departmental and or statewide budget checks and approvals. The budget check validates that there are funds available for the transaction. Most transactions also have one or more required approvals, either at the department level or SCO level. If Jenna's transaction doesn't clear the budget check or approval processes, the transaction will now post and flow to the book of record. Once again, Jenna refers to a few trusted job aids for guidance. Step 4. Transaction Posting and Processing Once all of these steps are successfully completed, the fiscal system pushes Jenna's transaction into the final step, posting. Jenna recalls that with the October 2018 release, if a transaction posts properly, it's automatically submitted to SCO in a daily batch process for review and acceptance according to their normal business processes. To make sure this happens, Jenna reviews her department's suspense items report on a daily basis. If she notices any transactions have been held up, she references her job aid to guide her through finding and correcting those suspense items and items that have not generated to the general ledger. Satisfied that all transactions have been posted, Jenna pours herself a cup of tea and awaits her request to be processed by SCO.